Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now this is going to be a tutorial that I have sort of mentioned before in one previous video and it is about resetting the default colours of black and white which is how they're set up here back to black and white after you've made some color alterations and this works just the same in Affinity Photo as it does in Affinity Designer. It is probably more important in Affinity Photo because you're, that's where you're more likely to use things like layer masks and things like that. Where, so if you've got a white layer mask and you want to put paint black onto it or if you have a black layer mask and you want to paint white onto it you want to get quickly back to black and white default colours and if you've gone off and used some other colour it's a bit difficult let me just quickly make a new pixel layer here and if I just sort of randomly pick a colour blue with a brush which it hasn't come up blue hang on blue there we go but if I was you know, doing this properly and you were doing a photo and you want to get back to black and white there's no sort of quick way to get back to having this black and white so I'd have to sort of get close to white and move it move the sliders down until they were white or if I wanted them you know, if they'd been down here somewhere I'd have to get as close to black as possible and then bring the sliders back to get to pure black. So the quick way you need to do this is to set up a keyboard shortcut. And like I said this is virtually exactly the same in both designer and photo. And you can press control and the comma or you can go to edit preferences and you can see that the shortcut is control and comma and it brings up the preferences panel and one of these is keyboard shortcuts and if you come to the drop down menu for file and because different the both affinity photo and affinity designer have slightly different tools and menus they're they will alter slightly but basically it's the same it's file down to miscellaneous and then you want the one that says set fill to black and white now at the moment the X key is used to just swap the foreground and background colors and as you can see here shift and X is already used and you can use whichever key you want that you can remember but I'm going to use alt an X. You just click in here till you've got the cursor, hold down the Alt key and then press X and then close. So if I now make that black a red for example, so I've got red there and I quickly want to go back to black and white, just hold down the Alt key, press X and as you can see they've quickly gone back to the default colours and to prove that this works just as well in designer this is designer and you can see the default colors are black and white so i'm going to press control and comma get the preferences keyboard shortcuts file down to miscellaneous not such a long menu here and then but this is a bit further down in this here we go set field black and white click in there alt and x or whatever key you want to use as your shortcut. Then click close and we just quickly pick a different colour for that and if I press Alt and X it'll go back to being black and white. So that is it basically. It's a very quick tip but I think it's a very useful tip to use because you will find yourself quite often wanting to quickly get back to black or white. So thank you for watching and goodbye.